I heard that you and Shane have a history together. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, it was one of those things where I, I'd been retired for a while, and uh, I wanted to come back. I'd been talking about coming back for about a year or so. Uh, Nothing really came up, nothing really inspired me to do it until I started getting some messages. I used to live here in Tallahassee, I used to be an instructor at a, at a gym here, and I got some students that were telling me they weren't happy with the new instructor, uh, of course with Shane. Uh, so there, there were a couple other things that came up where basically people asked me to fight him. And once I was set on the, uh, a particular goal, then that kind of motivated me, I got a chance to start training. Uh, it's probably one of my worst performances, to be honest with you. I just, you know, it was rusty, but uh, I'm glad I was able to put on a show that was good for you guys. Uh, I'm glad in the end we were evenly matched enough to where he was able to really put on a show, you know, at least uh, get in there. And I'm glad, uh, like I said, everybody enjoyed it. That's, that's the reason I did it there. Special Chamali, he's up to a lot in the world out here in Florida, and we look forward to seeing him in the future. Uh, game plan went as follows. I, I said I was going to go out there and clinch with him. Um, didn't really want to do too much stand up. I just felt more comfortable clinching with him. I said I was going to toss him. I tossed him. I uh, said I was going to submit him and I submitted him. I, the game plan went perfect. What did you think about the poor guy after you took him out, earling all over the canvas, man? It was great. Oh, man. Cut, classic. Cut health it. it was great. Classic. Nice classic. guy, though. Nice guy. Yeah. This is Lionel Skinner, my boy, professional fighter, um, med <laughs> student, and all around great guy, Lionel. How does it feel? First round tap out via guillotine, man. Can't beat it. How's it feel? I feel it's surreal. Surreal? Yeah, I can't even put words to it. I'm so thankful. Oh. Um, I, I think that what really makes a difference um, between uh, us and other camps is not just me as a coach, as much as I'd like to take credit for that, but uh, it's just um, uh, we have a good uh, we have a good team structure. We have a great strength and conditioning coach, which a lot of gyms don't have. Um, you know, we got great boxing instructors, uh, great grappling instructors, and so it's just my job to bring all the pieces together. Um, you know, and, and I'm eight and two now after uh, after last Saturday, so I think that I've found a way to uh, have success in the cage, and I'm just trying to. Uh, to, to transfer my knowledge and, uh, and, and you know things that I find work well um, onto the onto my fighters and uh, and, and it, it is working pretty well. Like I, you know like you just said, we have six uh, six first round victories. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier. Could not ask for more really. Well, what's that famous move that uh, uh, is named after you? I think I saw it like four times or at least three times. <laughs> at least three or four times. Uh, <laughs> The move I like to make all my guys do is call, you know, there's multiple names, it's a man hammer, some man double fist, uh, whatever you wanted to use. Um, uh, the basis of it is, is striking with two hands at the same time when you have uh, top position. And uh, the reason why that works well is because, you know, I, I find that when you're in a top position, um, one of the main goals is to get your guys, you know, get the opponent's head up against the cage so that when you strike the head, it doesn't have anywhere to go. Uh, what that does is that eliminates the need uh, to get, you know, to get his head against the cage. If you can just strike with both hands, you know, it's like having in a cage that punches back, so um, uh, I got uh, four knockouts with that. My, my four out of my last five victories uh, are actually from from that uh, particular punch. So um, Tristan got it uh, on Saturday. He, you know, as soon as you land it, you know you, you you'll feel the violence and, uh, and and the pain that it causes your opponents. So I, I mean, it's it's pretty violent, but uh, I mean, it's a guaranteed knockout almost every time. You know, and um, uh, really for me, it's very important. Uh, you know, to show. Um, to show all these guys and all my guys that you don't have to go to a big camp to be successful. You don't have to go to ATT or um, you know or uh, or any of the Gracie schools. Although I do, you know, I train at Gracie Baja in Jacksonville um, about once a week um, with my my instructor uh, Roberto Botero. But you know, this is still my home camp right here, Tallahassee Combat Sports, um, and uh, and uh, you know we're trying to make it as big as possible. And I think we're doing a very good job of it. Someone say that attitude is how big camps are made. Yeah, 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 exactly. And over here, we got those fabulous shorts with the gi material on the inside. Man, I tell you, you got some good looking stuff here, Will. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate Take it. Take it on, Tammy. Yeah, this is uh, Tallahassee's own fightwear company. And uh, this is William, the owner. And uh, William, I wanted to find out a little bit more about the company and how you got started. Like, what did you, uh, 
What made you come into this? Just kind of just brainstorming basically and just having an idea of uh, kind of extreme sports and gear and I have a buddy that does MMA and I really love MMA. So it was kind of in the planning stages maybe five, six years ago, but this last year is when I kind of really kicked it in and started getting some merchandise made. And uh, I just enjoy it. I like selling stuff and I like getting really good stuff made and I got a lot of ideas. So it's kind of like it's going to be a How does it feel to have your team just sweep every single fight? You know, it feels great. Not surprised. Those guys train so hard. I, mean, I know everybody says they train hard, but I mean, we really do train hard. I mean, we condition them seven days a week. We spar hard. We do a lot of drills. We do everything it takes to win, and as you can see, it paid off. We, uh, I'm not proud of it. It was great. I mean, yeah. Well, I really like what was going on with all the fighters. Um, Josh Mann's move, what's the name of that move again? Uh, we call that the Saman Double Fist. Well, um, you know, we just beat a guy from the West Coast, um, from Dan Henderson's camp, Team Quest, so I've got some guys maybe going to be fighting out West now, and uh, Uber Smash, uh, we're going to do another one here, and, you know, maybe in 2011 we might be going to Europe with him. So. Awesome, man. Awesome. Great. Well, good things are coming out of this uh, city, Tallahassee, and Tallahassee Combat Sports is leading the way. From left to right, can I get all your names? Casey, Charlotte, Jennifer, Lauren, Krista.